morning. It's a good day. I uh, hope you are all doing all right so far this week. Um, looks like it might be a, a pretty morning and it's not too hot or humid out here yet. So if you've got a porch, maybe go sit on it for a little bit because it's nice out, um, at least here in Clemson. So we'll see what today holds. Uh, today, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the kinds of people that God chooses to use in the Bible uh, and, and what that might say about us, too. Um, but it should be a good day for, for doing whatever we're going to do today. Uh, so we'll see what today has to hold. But let's start out with a prayer, and then we'll, we'll hop right into this devotion. Let us pray. God, thank you for today, and thank you for the opportunity as always, to live our lives for you and for one another and um, to live our lives to the fullest. Uh, we ask that you fill us up with confidence and courage today to do good things in this world um, and to, to have the clarity of what your will is for not only our lives, but for the lives of the community and of the country and of uh, the whole world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this morning, I want to talk a little bit about um, sports. I love sports, and one of my favorite things to do is watch highlights. One of the things that doesn't happen as much anymore is um, people waking up in the morning and watching Sports Center on ESPN, or um, just sitting down at lunch and, and watching Sports Center and seeing all the highlights from the days before. So uh, all different sports, and there's um, you know great three pointers from women's basketball. There's home runs in baseball. There's um, touchdowns in preseason. There's so many things to watch highlights of. But in the world of, you know, 24-7 news right at your, your fingertips, you don't watch things like Sports Center anymore because you don't have to wait to see what happened. You can see it almost real time uh, on something on your phone. And so a lot of people do Twitter or Instagram or other things that um, you can see real time highlights almost seconds after they happen uh, and so one of my favorite things to do is to scroll through the internet and just look at highlights from things that are happening right now things that have happened in the past day or so that kind of thing and I still love to watch sports in there because it compiles everything in one spot right I don't have to go searching for what I want um, but but it's something that's a little more rare probably in today's generation to sit down and watch something on TV instead of just uh, get little snippets of it on your on your phone um, I wonder how many people actually watch an entire game of baseball nowadays or even an entire game of basketball which relatively moves pretty quickly um, or, or instead how many people just catch the highlights on their phones you know that kind of thing but this all comes to the point that I was um, just trying to check some some sports things the other day and I came across a a highlight from Kobe Bryant, who is no longer um, living, but is one of the best basketball players of all time. And it was a bunch of his dunks and his plays. He, he played great defense. He did it all on the basketball court. So I was watching a couple highlights, and at the end of it, it said something like, Kobe Bryant missed so many thousands of shots in his career, did so many different things right, but over time, he is the player who has missed the most shots uh, out of any other player and that's probably because he took more shots than most people that miss most of their shots <laughs> um, and so he just has a, a higher volume but Kobe had missed more shots than anybody else uh, and we still think of, of Kobe as um, doing so many great things right he, he was one of if a lot of people think he's one of the top three best players of all time right um, but he made a lot of mistakes along the way too and what we remember him for are the good things that he did. And that just made me think about all the different ways that we might try to be perfect in our, in our lives. Um, each and every day, we'd try to do everything right. Uh, and when we do things wrong, we might kick ourselves for it. And we might remember those things more than we remember our successes sometimes, um, just because it weighs on us more maybe. But it, it's also important for us to remember that there are, are good things that we're doing with our lives and those things are just as important um, for for all of us. And so uh, I, I think of the people that God chooses in the Bible. So God doesn't choose people that are 100% really good at their jobs. <laughs> God chooses 
random people who, who have made mistakes. God chooses somebody like Jacob and his story is, is uh, just, he's a trickster. He um, does a lot of things to try to cheat people out of things just to try to get the next next step. He makes some mistakes along the way. God chooses David who is a, a sinner to be king and God chooses so many different people in the Bible who, who screw up along the way um, but but make it out on the other side doing some pretty great things. And in fact, that's a lot of the story of the Old Testament is God blessing human beings, normal human beings who sometimes are great and sometimes are not. Uh, and they make mistakes, they screw it up, they don't trust God, they try to do things on their own, etc., etc. And then they end up having these legendary stories. Um, and so the, I, I think that's an, an important thing for us to remember along the way is that um, whether we're just you and me, <laughs> whether we're, you know, these legends in the Bible, these patriarchs and matriarchs along the way, um, whether we're Kobe Bryant, people make mistakes, people do things incorrectly, but then in the other side of things, some of the things that we're doing are really powerful, really great things. Um, and that's part of having faith, I think, is to um, learn along the way and to, to really hold on to the moments when we are doing things that we know are God's work in this world uh, and to strive to do more of that. Um, I don't know what you might have to say about any of this stuff and I uh, would love to hear some comments, but uh, it's just great to to be here with you this morning and to, to ponder these things. Um, and it's not just sports athletes who, who make mistakes, but also do great things. Uh, it's just all of us. It's just a human, human nature to uh, maybe dwell on our mistakes more than we dwell on our successes, um, but God doesn't choose us because we're 100% good all the time. God is with us all the way anyway. So those are good things to think about, I think, this morning. Um, and while we strive to do good things in this world as we overcome some of our uh, obstacles, etc., uh, we can think about the ways that God is empowering us to do important things in this world. Hope y'all are all doing well. Um, I hope you have a great day too. Look forward to any comments that you have about these things or other things. Uh, Pat, I see that Linda is having surgery this morning, so we'll pray for her. And um, and anybody else that, that needs prayers, we'll just throw them out there and hope that God's spirit um, touches everybody that God can today. Let's Let's pray and then we'll go about our days. God, thank you for allowing and um, initiating the fact that your spirit moves in our lives each and every day. Uh, we ask that it fill us with faith and hope and courage and, and confidence to go out in the world and to do good things. Uh, even if we make mistakes along the way, we ask for your, your spirit to empower us in these ways. We also ask that your, your spirit surround us with comfort and care uh, when we're feeling worried or weak or, or sick or tired um, when we're uh, a little fragile. We ask that your spirit surround us with care and hold us uh, in your arms. Um, when we're having surgery, we pray for, for Linda this morning. Uh, when we're uh, asking for healing in our lives, when we're feeling lonely, we just ask that your spirit uh, comes into our lives and, and does something powerful for us. And in the very least, we, we also ask that your spirit just sit by us, <laughs> be present in our lives, um, that we can always know that you are, you are near. Push us out into the world to do good things today and every day. In your name we pray, amen. Thanks guys, uh, have a good, good morning and we will uh, try to see what the rest of the week holds. God bless.